In this video, I'll walk you through the five steps you need to know to design a website. Part of step one is to think about the goals for this website. I recently redesigned my portfolio website, and these were the goals I came up with for redesigning. For a portfolio website, the main goal is for someone to hire you. So this means you need to include a portfolio and contact page. But you might also want to add other pages so that someone could learn more about you and examples of projects you've designed. So you'll definitely want to take time and write down what are the goals for this website design because this will influence so many more decisions down the line. The second part of this step is to create a sitemap. Here I am drawing one out for my portfolio website. To create a sitemap, start with the home page at the top. Then on the next level, add other pages that you will link to in your menu. And if you have a submenu, you will put those pages underneath it. For example, here I have a portfolio, but I want to showcase photography and design as two separate pages within the portfolio. You may end up linking from one page to another, but this helps you get an idea of all the different pages you will need to create. Step two in designing a website is to start gathering inspiration and creating mood boards. This will dictate the visual direction for your design. I personally like to search on websites like Behance and Pinterest, and sometimes even Instagram, to start screenshotting images to add to the mood board. You can create just one mood board, but I would recommend you create several because you'll likely have many ideas for how you want to design this website. So once I have about a dozen photos for each bucket or each theme of my mood boards, then I start taking those and laying them out in Adobe XD. I'll usually also start pulling out possible color palettes inspired by the images that I find. Here are the six mood boards I created for my portfolio website. As you can see, they're very different from each other. The next step in the web design process is to start wireframing. I recommend starting with pen or paper, or in this case, I'm using Procreate on my iPad Pro to start sketching initial wireframes. The goal is to get as many ideas out quickly as possible. Then I take these sketches and create low fidelity wireframes in Adobe XD. This is more about the organization of the design. I use light gray boxes with X's drawn across them to signify photos that might be placed here. And then I'll use a darker gray background for a colored background. And then I'll create rectangles to represent text. After I create the first wireframe, I'll start copy and pasting the same elements for the other wireframes just to get the process done faster. These are the eight low fidelity wireframes I created in Adobe XD. You can see how each of them offers an entirely different solution for a landing page design. Now I'm showing you this process for one page, but if you're doing an entire website, then you would just repeat the process for every other page. The next step is to start designing. Take those wireframes and mood boards you created and start creating designs out of them. Take your time exploring during this process and really make each option entirely different from the previous. That way you have a variety of options to choose from. Here you can see how each design looks next to the wireframe. You may notice that some elements ended up changing and that's totally okay. The wireframe is just a plan, an idea, but if it doesn't work for your design, then modify it so it does work. These are all six designs side by side. The fifth and final step is to start building your design. In my example for redesigning my portfolio site, I already used Squarespace. So I was taking the design mockup and using that to customize a Squarespace template. So of course this step will vary for you depending on who the client is and how you're developing your website. Again, you may notice that your final design shifts slightly from your mockup. You'll realize certain limitations in your design and will need to adapt. Here's the final design for my portfolio site. And that was a brief overview of five steps and how to design your own website. If you found this helpful, give it a like and subscribe for more. Also leave a comment down below. Let me know what you want to see a video on next.